In this video, I'll be comparing TinyTask versus AutoHotKey and telling you which of these automation tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll go over what exactly they do, who they're for, and ultimately which one I would pick. Now first, both of them are for Windows, and AutoHotKey is a scripting-based automation tool, which means you will need to script. So it has advanced scripting with custom logic, loops, and conditions. It has hotkey automation, so you can assign macros to keyboard shortcuts. You can do GUI automation, so control windows, mouse movements, and keystrokes. You can do text expansions, so replace abbreviations with full phrases. You can interact with APIs, files, and other programs, and it's highly customizable. So some of the pros for AutoHotKey are that it is extremely powerful and flexible, there's a large community and extensive documentation, and it can automate almost anything in Windows. Now some cons are that it does require learning AHK scripting language, it's overkill for simple repetitive tasks, and it's not purely record and playback, though some scripts can simulate that. On the other hand, we have TinyTask, which is a lightweight record and playback tool. You can see it's only 36 KB, so ultra compact as it says. There's no scripting required, just record and play, and it allows you to record mouse and keyboard actions and replay them. And as I said, it has a very small file size and it allows for fast playback speed and it can speed up repetitions. So some pros for TinyTask are that it is super simple to use, no coding needed, it's portable and great for simple and repetitive tasks. Now some cons are that there is no logic or conditions, just linear playback. There is no hotkey customization, so you have limited control. It is fragile, it breaks if window positions change, and there's no text expansion or advanced automation. So which one should you use, TinyTask or AutoHotKey? I would use AutoHotKey if you need advanced automation with conditional logic, hotkeys, etc. If you want to automate complex workflows, and if you are okay with learning basic scripting. On the other hand, I would go with TinyTask if you need a quick, no-code solution for, again, simple, repetitive tasks. Also, if you want instant record and replay without setup, and you don't need logic or customization. So that concludes this comparison of TinyTask versus AutoHotKey. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.